what's going on this is midget trucking inc and i'm back with another video and yes i know i ain't posted in a month i'm trying to get better but i just don't be having time and i don't be feeling like posting but hey i'm gonna try to post one video once a week i was gonna show y'all the check stubs from um like i told y'all i would from um june i mean july and august or was it june and july i can't remember but the damn um app the the damn the new os system i ios 14 is not compatible with the new trucking app so i'm not able to like show the check stubs how much i made and uh why did i make that and why i was home and just enjoying my life out here as a owner operator you know usa truck you know is where to be at you know, I mean, I'm going to show y'all the low board. A lot of people have been asking me about the low board. And if you hear some noise in the back, that's my stand-up fan. You know, it ain't cold or it ain't hot. I just got it on because the breeze feel good, you know. And right now, I'm in Nashville, Tennessee, chilling at Thornton's Truck Stop on my 34-hour reset. Yes, it's like a fake 34-hour reset, but it is a 34-hour reset because, you know, I got here at 10 a.m., and like I'm only gonna have 19 hours and I'm going back to the highs on the 13th. I mean 13th. On the 23rd, I'll be back at the highs for about four or five days. And then I go back out for like two weeks, all week. It depends on how I feel. Depending on how I feel that PS5 coming out. You know I'm gonna be out for a week, most likely, for that PS5. Then you, and I gotta be home to get to go pick up the PS5. I gotta be home for the iPhone 12 Pro Max. I gotta be home. So I'm be home be that's the thing about owner operator. When you're an owner operator, lease purchase, this like lease purchase owner operators, but see USA, lease purchase owner operators, you can be off when you wanna be off. It ain't no you don't have no dispatch. You your dispatch. But you need to make money to pay your truck note though, too. Or you just gonna be in the negative. Who wants to be in the negative? Who wants to do that? But like I said, um, I'm going to be home. What I'm, I'm trying to make about 3000 for like two weeks straight and then go to the highs. If I can't make it, at least 2000 or better and go to the highs. Um, you know, checks are up and down, but the low boy looking real good. You know, this is the load I deliver in Tennessee, Monvero, Tennessee tomorrow. 1800 250 fuel surcharge, all mine. This next load is 1500 and something, and it's like 150 for a surcharge. But like I said, you can't see it because that's a broken load. Um, but anyway, let's get to the load board part. The good part. Um, I know somebody wanted to see North Carolina. Um, let's do Charlotte. Charlotte. Pull up Charlotte shit. Charlotte. God damn. I hate when this thing do that. Charlotte, Charlotte, North Carolina. Let's see what they got in Charlotte, North Carolinas. Let's see. Ooh, that's a good load right there. But I ain't going no Connecticut though. But it's only 700 miles, paying 100 and, see that? Look at that, look at that. Giving y'all, giving y'all what y'all need to see. Giving y'all what y'all need to see. This, this all from Charlotte, North Carolina. All from Charlotte, Car North Carolina. You can look at the loads from that state. Look at the loads. You can always go back and pause the video and go in slow mo if you want to see it in slow mo. But the low boy is really picking up. You getting fifteen, sixteen hundred most of the time off loads. More than that, I just came back from New York, and that load paid me forty nine ninety five. So shit, it's, it's money out here. Houston, Texas never have shit. San Antonio starting to get shit from TJ Maxx. I like that. Spring Hill, Kansas, that's a hot spot. If you in Spring Hill, Kansas, that is a hot spot. Spring Hill, Kansas. They have some good loads coming out of Spring Hill, Kansas. That's my stumping ground. Let's go to Spring Hill, Kansas. What we have at Spring Hill, Kansas. Scoot the phone back so y'all can see. Oh, y'all can't see all that. Uh, okay, there we go. Spring Hill, Kansas. We got 
Look at that, 14, 14, 18, 16. Outlet, outlet. 3,000, Spring Hill, going to Tracy, California. New Jersey, Florence, dude, that's a, that's an Amazon load right here. I got a ticket in um Florence, New Jersey, for parking on the side of the street where it said no parking. Gave me 50, it was a $56 ticket. That man could have let me stay there, but it's cool. We got, ooh, we got a lot of little Florence popping up. Spring Hill, Kansas, the Florence, New Jersey. Woo! If you already had like 3,000 already in revenue and you got this, that's damn the 7,000. That's a that's a good ass check. It's lows out here, man. It's lows out here for the taking. Low board is getting pretty good. So I mean, a lot of people say, um, and, and if you come over, they'll ask you, do you want to be on a low board or do you want and the, the low board is percentage? You get 65 to 67%, depending on what you got in your truck. Um, if you want to do the other one, the mileage pay, I, I don't advise you to do the mileage pay at all. I met up with a trucker that's doing mileage pay. It was like three of us that was on a low board. And one of them was on mileage pay. Um, his check, he, he say, oh, uh, my check $1,500. I'm good with that. Huh? Everybody checks was over 2000 Matter of fact, over 2400 His check was 1500 because you got to understand, you got to run. It's hard to run 3,000, 3,500 miles in one, um, you know what I'm saying, in one week without a snag or without something happening. And 3,500 miles is a lot. And they only pay you a dollar and 40 cents a mile. So if you, it's, it's hard. You're not going to get 3,500 miles every week. You're barely going to get 3,000. Probably get 27, 28, something like that. And then you get, you get a percentage on a fuel surcharge. You don't get all the fuel surcharge like we do. We get 100%. See that 250? That 250 is all mine. That 250 comes on my check. All mine. They get like a half a percentage of the fuel surcharge. You're not making no money on uh, mileage pay. And you have a dispatch that tell you where and when to go. And when you go. And you can be off how much you want. But they, they, they give you loads in the area where you can go. And it's like, like with the low board, you could deadhead from New York to and go home if you want to. You could deadhead from Atlanta to fucking New North Dakota if you wanted to. It ain't no, it ain't nothing like that. That's why it's a difference. Y'all get on this low board. We need y'all. We need y'all to come out here and make some money with us. That's what we doing. We making money out here. And I ain't showing my face because I'm nappy face. But y'all gotta, I'm gonna do one more. Let me see. What's it? Let's do Atlanta. Atlanta, Atlanta, we're gonna do Atlanta. Atlanta, Ginger. Atlanta. I just came from I was on vacation in Atlanta um last week. Yes, the last week before not this week that just passed, but last week into this week. Oh, let's see. La Atlanta. What do Atlanta have? Okay. Atlanta really don't be having nothing. Look at that. Look at the bullshit ass lows. 500. If you want to get low, make sure you get a low that's 1,000 or better. It don't got that many miles on it. But I ain't trying to go to no Maryland. I ain't going back to New York to next year. Probably won't even go back there. Because them toads will eat your ass up. Um, That's Atlanta. Um, But yeah. That's the low board. See, I was just in New York, like I said. And I'm already in I'm already in Tennessee for to drop off this load in the morning at 6 30. So it's up there. It's up there. So y'all, I'm just saying, hey, come come join the team. Come older operators. If you have your own truck, come bring your own truck. If you don't have your own truck, they got a list of truck companies you could get with because they don't lease trucks at USA Truck. They do not lease trucks. You got to get your own truck from a dealership. And um, they'll, they'll front you, um, I think if you don't have it, they'll front you up to $2,500 to put down on your truck. And then you do it, and then they do all the paperwork and whatever. And then, hey, it's on and popping from there. Come on down to USA Truck. Go on, come on down, get on this load board. I know y'all owner operators ready. I know y'all ready. It's time to get this money because being a, a regular company driver, you know, you probably averaging, uh, what, nine to 1200 a week? Come on, you can make two thousand plus a week if you want to. I can make 
3000 a week if I want to. But see, I'm in a relationship. I got to go home. I like being home every week. Um, sometimes I'll be like this week. I'm being out for two weeks because I came. I got, I got off the plane Monday. I went back off on the road Tuesday. And I've been out here since um, last Tuesday. And I'm going to go home Friday. Be home Friday and come back out probably Tuesday or Wednesday. Um, I like being home. I like enjoying my home time. So my checks do differ. My, my, all my checks don't be 2000 All my checks don't be 3000 My checks sometimes well, it depends on my home time. If I want to stay out a week, hmm, no check. If I want to stay out, it could, be, it could go from, like I say, my checks range from $1,500 to $3,000. But when my checks are low, that's because I had home time and I didn't feel like doing shit and I was just being lazy. But if I want to grind out here, I could really bring home 3000 a week. Easy. But, hey, different people have different priorities. I mean, I'm good. So, hey, it is what it is. But I do what I want. Uh, nobody don't tell me, well, hey, you can't go here, you can't go there, you can't deadhead here. You know how most companies say, uh-uh, you got to wait for a load. Oh, you got, man, please, do what you want to do. It's your truck. Do what you want to do. Run your, run your business how you want to run your business. But anyways, I'll see y'all next weekend or next Sunday. I'll put up, I'm going to start putting up a video every Sunday. Just to give y'all, you know, um, me in a week and how it's going. Um, I'll show y'all when when they get the when they get that iOS 14 and the app working. I'll be able to show you the check stubs. But until then, y'all have a blessed day. I'm about to go eat me some Mexican food, good old Mexican food, right right around the corner. Y'all, peace out. Have a good day.